Hey guys, Cindy here. Today I'm here with Hannah, one of Prolution Health's uh, chiropractic assistants, who if you didn't know, also is a kinesiologist. And today she'll be sharing on um, her experience with menopause. And <laughs> even though it's something that I won't be experiencing maybe for a couple of decades, it's something I'm quite interested in and I'm sure many of my, uh, my clients and my husband's clients are. So Hannah, tell me, um, in your personal experience, what signs and symptoms have you mainly had? Okay, so it's only fairly recently that I've started going into full menopause. So I had perimenopause for the last uh, probably three, four years, just very, very mildly, which is small hot flushes infrequently. And now, um, for me, I've just noticed the hot flushes. So that's been an interesting experience. <laughs> so uh, first of all, for me, I'm very much about being in tune as much as possible with my body. So I want to know how I'm feeling something, what is happening, and um, what I might need to just do or what might be triggering something in my um, for responses in my body before I just go and take an action that might be supplementational herbs or, or if you rather people chose medications. Um, I do treat everything in a natural way for myself and that's just how I've always done it. So I've uh, just been noticing that, um, but I didn't want to just, we could, we've got herbs here, we've got uh, a lovely array of herbs that we can use and Marcus does make up for people. Yeah. And um, I know that the yarrow was really effective for me uh, just during um, perimenopause, but um, I didn't want to just, it wasn't making much effect for me just taking it intermittently like it was before. And so I knew that something much stronger had set in and I wanted to also experience and understand what that was that was happening in a way that I can experience what trigger might be causing it to and what maybe wisdom was there for me as well. And I think that's my exploration now is to not only understand it on a physiological level, but mm -hmm. um, what might be happening within the scheme of your natural cycle as to why and what, what it, um, wisdom we can grow from these times as well. Do you mind sharing like, um, besides the yarrow that you were using before, what other natural therapies have you since used, as you mentioned that it's no longer being as effective if, when you use it intermittently? Yeah. So, um, I have noticed that I get, for me, I get hot flushes when I'm either in an embarrassing situation <laughs> or I have a, a high level of anxiety, or uh, also I get really, really strong flushes when I'm in stress. Okay. And so I was like, okay, that, that makes sense. And then um, my natural therapist, like, cause I also use, besides our natural therapies here, I have someone else I use as well. Mm -hmm. And she was just telling me how the, the um, adrenal area and um, the kidneys are actually we do have a natural ability to balance out our hormones during this time but what mitigates that and stops it is stress and we have so much stress in in our lives because it comes from the adrenal area our body isn't able to overcome that it has to deal with the adrenal stress and therefore it can't deal with balancing the hormones so I did a little bit of reading as well and um, a lot of the research also comes back to the um, reduction in stress also reduces your um, your hot flushes. And so I was like, that makes sense. It yeah. makes sense that maybe there could be another compound that our body's producing that helps balance those um, hormones, but it's being suppressed due to stress or it's just that stress induces it as well. Yeah. So it could be either, We I, I don't know, but it could be, it's definitely that combination. So anything to do with reducing stress definitely helps. Obviously stress produces certain hormones in your body as well and so doing exercise helps reduce those, therefore it does help um, reduce the effects of the hot flashes, they'll be milder and less frequent, so very important to keep up exercise. Um, also relaxation, that helps to reduce your stress, there's a lot of stress and anxiety and fear in society at this present time, so it's really important. Um, it helps you on so many levels as well, but definitely um, it allows you also doing relaxation to be more in tune with your body as well um, and a uh, healthy diet and good nutrition and um, anything else that allows for that relaxation is definitely going to help. 
Awesome. We've got obviously herbs you can take as well, and um, and Marcus uh, um, definitely can probably tailor exercise programs for you. And we have a beautiful um, setup, which is newly set up uh, massage chair and <laughs> and the what brain do you, tap. Yeah, brain tap, which would also assist in relaxation and, and de stressing. So um, there is a lot of um, changes that are going on in your brain and your body during this time. I'm still learning. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a journey and I'd love people to share their journey and what they understand about it and what helps them. I know that different health conditions and, um, and different body types affect, it's affected differently and it's a very individual. I mean, even our modern medicine has learned that it's a very individual to each woman as to how therapies work. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hannah, for sharing. It really has given you a lot of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only at the start. <laughs>